Okay, so we are back here at headquarters with our CEO and founder, Mark Timms, and we actually have some technology to discuss today, and it's Spin Launch. So give us the, the full lowdown on Spin Launch. Yeah, well, like I said, we've been doing a bunch of robot testing lately, and obviously, you know, we're looking at different things and trying to give our fitters some information on, you know, kind of narrow down what clubs to give to somebody. So it's pretty easy to tell if somebody's high spin or low spin with a few swings. Angle attack shows you and a bunch of other things. So you're generally looking for higher spin drivers or lower spin drivers. So when we did all the robot testing and all the heads, you know, we've got, you know, all kinds of ranges. Obviously, the eight-degree heads spin the lowest and, you know, the high launch spin the highest, you know, the high lofted ones. Um, but it's not as easy as you think. So the lowest spinning driver isn't necessarily the lowest spinning driver per degree of launch. So there's two different things. There's launch and spin. So in other words, to make it real simple, if you've got a 10-degree driver, and, you know, one launches at 14 at 2,000 RPM to spin, you know, that's a pretty low number. Um, if another one launches at, you know, 1,800 RPMs, but it only launches at 6 degrees, that's actually not such a good thing. So, you know, when you're looking through all the different drivers and stuff, you really want to know the spin per degree of launch. Yeah, we're looking at. and that's what we do. Is you basically get, you get the RPMs and you divide that by its degrees in launch, right. and that gives us our number. Yep. And we've collected this data um, currently these numbers that we're going to discuss today are based at 95 miles an hour club head speed, right? Yep. yep. Uh, and there's some variables there. Like we need to delve into this a little deeper. We maybe right. need to check out what happens at lower speed and maybe some higher speed numbers. Uh, but 95 is, you know, your average golfer. Yeah. Oh, it's me basically. Yeah, maybe a little higher than that. Not a good day, but. Yeah. So again, you know, but all the numbers we're going to discuss, there's nothing that can be taken as like set in stone. This is good or bad for everyone. No, not at all. And yeah. and realistically, the best thing about this this number that I like anyway is that it's really not good or bad for anyone because it's about um, higher or lower. Right. And not everyone needs to be higher, and not everyone needs to be lower. That's so correct. it's finding yeah. what you need as a player again, going through a testing process to right. to get the result. Um, how are we going to implement this into into cool clubs? How is cool clubs going to use the number? Um, well, basically, you know, our fitters will have the list of all the robot heads that you know ones in the demo matrix, right? Because don't need heads that are five years old or anything. But uh, you know, they'll just have a list of all these heads, and basically, it color codes them. You know, which are the higher spin ones and the lower spin ones. So, so, so they get a player and he yeah, comes players in. high spin. They're going to start looking at the blue ones or whatever. Those are low spinning ones. And if you get a you know, guy needs more loft and more spin and whatever, then you can look at the the red ones. We'll color them different colors, but. Uh, the higher spending ones per degree, yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at, uh, let's maybe start with some low, low stuff. Uh, okay, we can do that. All right, here's some low spinning drivers. So we got three uh, drivers here, real low spinning. Um, actually, the lowest spinning one here actually is Callaway uh, ST Max LS. So you're looking at 2200 RPMs. Um, so you would think that's the lowest spinning driver out there um, at 2200 RPMs. The reality is it actually launches quite a bit lower than this ping, for instance, almost two degrees. Um, so the degrees of the amount of spin per degree of launch, the ping is actually the lowest. And this is their LST version, which makes sense. It's all designed for lower spin. Um, but those are three really low spin drivers, you know, all those. Uh, and basically these numbers at, uh, you know, 95 miles an hour, um, they're going to be somewhere between 200 and 300. I mean, 209 is our lowest. Yep. And you get up to 309 or 10 or something like that is the highest. Yeah, that's in the range of all drivers. All drivers, yeah. yeah that's from, you know, 8-degree drivers to 12-degree drivers. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a way you can actually compare different, you know, models for something. You know, if you take the average of the, you know, the 8, 9, 10 of one company and the average of 8, 9, 10 of another, overall that model would be lower spinning and higher spinning. Yeah. And it's worth noting here, these are the closest to 10 degrees in each model. Yeah, right. Um, and there's a 10 and a half in here, some of them, yeah. Uh, well, this is the closest we can right. get, right? right? And then obviously this is a center hit too. So we yes, we right. do the nine point testing, but in this case, it kind of would skew what would occur with spin when you get, uh, you know, toe strike or heel strike. So center is the most yeah. important here. Exactly. So we're trying to maximize the distance and launch and spin. So we're basically looking at the middle for the most part on this test. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of interesting. If you want someone to hit a lower driver out of, out of these three that we've got in front of us, you'd pick the Callaway because it would come out the lowest. It launches and yes, it spins it does low. Launch low. Yeah. Exactly. And if you're trying to get RPMs down in, in general and maybe keep the ball, you know, starting higher, that ping LST looks right. like it's going to pop the ball up first, but then keep RPMs off. Yep. The LST is pretty good about knocking spin off. I mean, they've done a good job designing it. And that's specifically what it's for. Most yeah. of the else ones are. Okay, well, let's take a look at the higher stuff. Yeah, here's some higher ones. So these are three higher spinning drivers. And these are the drivers that are designed to be high. I mean, it's the HD Stealth. It's the Max and the uh, Cobra here. And we got a Shrix on in here. Okay. Um, and these are all relatively, yeah, significantly higher number. higher numbers here, right? Yeah. Uh, again, actually, this is the highest spinning one of the three, but it's actually the lowest spinning per degree of launch. Yeah. So, so that, that's actually, just a high launch, high spin. That's going up yep, in the air. Yep. 
If you really want spin, you know, this the, this this driver here creates a ton of spin. Yeah, interesting. Um, like so you might have to go up to the loft a little bit to get that, but if you really need some of them spin, you know, you go to the TaylorMade Stealth and go maybe go to the 12 degree or whatever, and you're going to keep the ball in the air pretty well. Yeah, so, I mean, this is great information. Even guys out there, and they want to experiment themselves, and they want to pop the ball higher, obviously that shrick's in 10 and a half. It's yeah. worth a go. Yeah, that's, that's all, yeah. all good. Yeah. yeah, and you add some stuff into that. You know, the more loft you play generally helps spin, and, and you know, a golf shaft is going to have an impact on that oh, too. Yeah. And you want some guidance from marrying those things together. Yeah, we try to pick out the head first and kind of get that figured out, and then we can try different shafts and kind of dial it in. Yeah. Um, that's kind of the easiest way. And then some people do it the other way around too. I mean, it's not a right or wrong there. Um, I just like to get the head out of the way and just kind of fine-tune the shafts. But. Yeah. Again, this is just a filter for our fitters, right? Right, you know, right. They, It gives them an option to just have some factual information in front of them that says, well, you know, we're not going to make you test drivers that aren't in the, right. the scope of what you require to get better ball flight. Yeah, just narrowing down from, you know, that robot data and all the data we collect, you know, which drivers work for what people. So it yeah. does, does help. Well, this coming with our new software that's probably going to be 2023, but yep. that added in with, you know, the shaft data that we've got is only going to improve over the years and uh, – be interesting to see how how guys yeah improve. we're we're gonna publish some of these numbers for you we haven't determined exactly what we're publishing yet so you saw when you had earlier we had the spin launch logo up which has a number in the middle yeah um you know we're gonna do that for every club we haven't decided yet we're gonna round the, probably to five five miles an hour five uh five rpms or so or it might even be ten um you know because there are variables obviously you know you, you run tests over again and there's there's you know margins for error and uh you know that's Dr Tom Mace's field so we'll we'll kind of nail him down after we gather enough data we're pretty close yeah um we'll publish it but it'll either be you know probably 10 10 rpms between them yeah um or we might even go low mid high you know that'll help most people yeah i think so, i mean the generic of that right. just it's kind of a similar thing with the golf shaft you get someone coming in who's hitting it you know low and you're not going to put them in a low launch shaft in in that whole section of low launch right. shaft you're always going to try the mid to high options so yep. exactly. same, same principles here. yeah i mean all three of these drivers for some of these you know these little box spin is are, are really good so yeah Awesome. Perfect. Well, let's do some more testing and uh, we'll come yeah. back and chat again. All right. Sounds good. Great.